Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to make Minnesotan sushi. All right, first you're gonna need pickles, dried beef, cream cheese. Next thing you need to do is measure your meat to pickle ratio. Doesn't matter how big the pickle is, it's just how you use it. Just saying. Step 36, with the spready thing, spread cream cheese all over your meat. Now the pro tip here, you see all these are kind of thin? This one's a little bit more creamier. Inconsistency is key. You want to have everyone have an ability to have either A, a lot of cream cheese, or B, no cream cheese. Diversity is what makes this particular dish fantastic. Step 72, tuck in the pickle. Wrap it up for a nice slumber. If you see some of this stuff, that's okay. It, no one's going to pay attention anyway. Then the next step, obviously, is to cut it. I don't know if it does with one hand, but you know, whatever. Now this right here, people would normally throw away, give to the dog, whatever, what have you. But this is the Hershey Kiss, the creme de la creme of pieces. Because there's going to be that one guy that likes little to no pickle. So you just add that to the collection over here for that one guy. Pinch them together. They're close enough. And there you go. You have the not picky eaters that like meat. The picky eaters that like little cream cheese. And the fall aparts where it's just messy. Gotta fulfill everyone's food and dietary needs. And that's Minnesota's. Now as for plating, you know, tweaks their own. Oh, oh. Okay. Now you see I'm saving all of these over here. Put them on top like a castle. I'm doing all the heavier ones over here, all the lighterish ones towards the middle. We got one last pickle. It's a good day, you know? Super Bowl, just saying. Good idea. It's healthy ish. It's, it's healthy ish. Now, the key here is inconsistency in these cuts. Now, I've seen some fancy people try and go for a diagonal or this or that, but no, that's just too far out, man. You want to make sure you have the super thinny ones. And the thunkus. Perfection. Inconsistency is key. Oh, yeah. And that's your finished project right there. I really wish I had a better. There, yep, there we go. Oh, yep. Uh, this is my representation and uh, pile of Minnesota sushi in form of Kessel Gray Skull. So I hope you enjoyed that how to video. Now, you yourself can also use any kind of pickle that you deem worthy or any kind of meats. But I would say cream cheese is probably the best way to go about it because uh, it just it heats to the two things. Also, pro tip, drain the pickle out beforehand. You do not want a very wet, moist pickle because then it just kind of cream cheese gets everywhere. It, it's not good. It's not good, bud. And uh, that's Minnesota Sushi. Hope you had a good time.